I box showed up, man. I buy top water this week, dude. Look at that. Big old frog. That's a horny toad right there. That's a, and a horny toad. That's a freaking good one, ain't it? We get my frog now. Begging, sir. You got me one? We're at the land of the giants. I got three of them. I got three of them. Mm. Put a name. Chapter, you got there, dude. Where does that thing? Got <laughs> me a little gift. Oh, look at that. You've got hearts on. That's my Valentine's gift to get it open. Good stuff right there. I'm gonna get some koozies. Can use that this week. Heck yeah. Those are boat snacks. That's really good jerky actually. And I like jerky that's kind of soft. I don't like the hard, dried out. That's just personally me. So I like Bridgeford. And this reminds me a lot of that. It's got it's that perfect mix of not too tough, soft, tasty. Thanks, Andrew. Appreciate that. I got one of those horns that you hook up to the brake, or like the back of it. So when he hits the brakes, it's gonna like be loud. It's like a big horn. Gotta wait. Shredded chicken tacos tonight. Easy fix in the crock pot. We got four pounds of chicken breast. You got two jars of whatever your favorite salsa is. So we got 32 ounces. That's a lot. Probably don't have to have that much. 32 ounces of your favorite salsa on top of the chicken breast. Two packs of chicken taco seasoning. Put it in a crock pot on high for about four hours or till it gets fork tender, shred it up. You got some really good shredded chicken tacos for dinner tonight. You gonna do it? <laughs> That's got a lot of cayenne in it. Woo! That's got a lot in it. You wanna do one? All right, so today we have the, the bat, it's good. It's actually good. Right now the bass mood rating is 5.8, which is good. That just makes me feel like an idiot if I'm catching. Well, at least it lets you know you gotta keep looking. Yeah. It's not a bad day. You know those days we're out there like, this yeah, must not be biting. That's the weird thing. You, this, this, is what, this, is, this is what's cool. This is what's cool, I, seriously. It, it's good, like, keeps you in check, makes you think. So today, here at Lake Fork, because I put it in, it, it, it has AI and it does all the calculations. A craw tube, which is like a little creature bait. Soft jerk bait or stick bait, which we know that works good here. A frog, which you had out this morning. You had the frog out this morning. And, and, and if you get around wood, this is what you do around wood. A shaky head or a jig is added to it. Shaky head would be really You're going to need to update. That, that, that app's going to need to update. You know what it's missing. I bet it's not Jig head man. Thank you. Crappy it, jig. It, it, hasn't Crappy jig. it hasn't calculated all the forward facing Correct. stuff yet. <laughs> No, but here, I'll tell you what is neat about this, though. It has weather. And you can back up on the weather like five days or seven days or something. To see so, what the trend is? Yeah, so if I want to see what the weather was like, you know, you can try so to how, see the how, trend. How many days here has it been super warm? Don't worry, I got some. 64, 72. Yesterday it was 76. How many days prior to the day? <clears throat> All right, so one day. That's Sunday. Saturday was 75. Lows in what? Forties? No. Uh, Saturday was low was fifty four that night. Last Friday night. night, Friday night, early in the morning. Friday was forty six, but it still got up to seventy that day on Friday. Seventy, and then on Thursday, got up to eighty two. On oh, Thursday. On Thursday it was eighty two. How did they get eighty two here? Wasn't it cold? No, it was 80, it was 80 back home. I mean, the Toledo Bend, wasn't it? It was hot, right? 
first day of the tournament. It was hot. It got warm, yeah. 82 degrees, dude. Low. It wasn't that warm, though. It was like 70. Well, it was 82 here. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, seriously, dude, think about this for a second. That's 80. That's Thursday. Two, we're all the way back to Tuesday. Tuesday was 79 degrees. No. Tuesday morning was 38. There's the cold right there. Uh, 73 on Monday. That ain't right, dude. It was cold in Toledo Bend all practice. No, then Sunday was 30. Sunday was high was 52. That's crazy. That's a cool thing. No, I wouldn't have thought that. I would have thought I wouldn't have thought that warm out here. In my mind, that that tells me right now that those fish, because it was all warm during the moon. Yeah. We're at Fork. I took my spinning rods out, my jig head minnows out. I'm gonna see if I can't go fishing. Uh, tied me up a couple of jigs, a couple of spinner baits, a couple chatter baits, a couple of swim baits, a couple of top waters, swim jigs. We're going to have some fun today, I hope. Hope the fish are moving up shallow. Never know, but we're going to see if we can't figure it out today. Uh, what you got your light on for? It's bright out here now. I know. I'll see you about 10 o'clock. Why don't you put your bibs on? It'll be warm by the time you get out there. I'm cold, dude. I'm freezing. See you later. <laughs> How'd y'all do that? It's, a, it's just a little thing we got. It, it won't do it again. Bull crap. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's the boat horn. That ain't my boat horn. You can't hook it up to the boat horn. That's what it sounds <laughs> like. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. What are y'all doing? <laughs> Freaking idiots. Crazy. Hey, we gotta get back tomorrow with that. What the heck? That's pretty good. That's yeah, pretty good. I, what did, where'd y'all get this thing at? Okay, it's gonna be a good week. A little windy, but a great week. or something dude That's what that is I don't know man I'm sampling a few things I don't have a clue yet water temperature is 53 54 55 in here main lake the pockets are going to be probably 60 and the other side of the lake could be a lot warmer than this because it's what happens is when the wind blows that way it sucks the deep water out there this way replaces it so it'll make I've seen it work on Champlain that way it can make this bank over here 
five, six, seven degrees colder than that bank over there. It's just the way it is. So. Water's warming up good, 59. The back of this pocket's gonna be real warm. And that's where they, they spawned before, in that last stretch back there. It's kind of a weird deal right now with the weather because it's like, the temperature's beautiful. So it makes you think like, I gotta get up here, but yet the water temperature's not quite there yet. So there's some, I mean, obviously, there's somewhere in between, but um, I just hadn't figured it out yet. But that, again, that's what practice is about. I'm gonna just keep bouncing around a little bit in here, see if I can't get a clue. You know, you catch a fish or two or three, and all of a sudden it starts telling a story. Keep everything pretty much open at this point until I do that. Now the, the X factor here is that you gotta have a hundred pounds. You, I mean, most likely it's going to take like, I don't know, 120? 110? It's going to take a lot. So, you got to figure out how to catch two pounders, not going to do any good. You got to figure out how to catch those big females. And they're heading this way. White bass. Wow. Didn't expect that back here. <laughs> well, we're heading in the right direction. We went from nothing to at least <laughs> a mud fish <laughs> and a white bass. Oh my gosh. Got one finally. Got one finally. How about that? Got me a bass, dude. I don't totally suck today. Gotta admire this one, dude. Friend I got today. Hey, buddy. Dude. Bro. Bro. Yeah. Lee. Okay. That was, see if we can't find some more. This looks good. The water's a good looking color. Nice fish. Dang, dude. Finally caught one. All she wrote, fellas. That's it. I don't even know what to say. The problem for me is that 
I'm just throwing darts at a wall right now and that's not you know necessarily I mean that's all I know to do to be honest with you I don't I just don't know I just like I'm doing what should be like looking in these plate like these trees right by the spawning pockets and I mean I'm sampling everything and I haven't really found uh, the only thing that I've found so far consistent where I think there's fish or some of these trees in 12, 13 foot of water. It's exactly what Matt caught a couple of his fish on. I've had a couple fish go down on my on my wacky worm. None of them hit. So I don't know. I mean, I don't know how you get them to bite. I, I might have to change colors. Put one with some flake. Do some messing around. But those are bass. Not all of them, but but I've thrown by some bass today. But the trick is how do you, I mean, how do you catch them? You know, this just my theory is that this lake is a catch and release lake for the most part. All these trophy bass have to be thrown back. It's a catch and release lake other than whatever the slot is. So a lot of these big fish have been caught before. When you've been caught several times, you get smart. They pass on the smart genes to the other ones. Then they go, what's that wacky thing? Oh, my grandfather told me about that thing. Don't eat it. You get snatched out of the water and you get pictures taken of you and all that. It's a big pain in the butt. Let's eat, boys. We got shredded chicken tacos, chicken breast. Pretty good stuff. McCoy, this is what you call taco sauce. You said you had never heard of taco sauce, and that's what that is. Original taco sauce. Well, he had four for... I had a four, pounds. three, and two, so that's seven, that's nine. Had 19 pounds. Four, four, three, and yeah. two. Caught him good. That's a good What if you put it under the, like under, like if you put it underneath this, unstuck it underneath there, because then you have to turn this whole thing upside down. What if we put it on the back of this? I don't think he'd look on the bottom of this drawer. I don't think he'll look underneath this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he could stick it there. Do you have any other tape? No, but we can get like Falco or something. Yeah, it's on. Activated. I don't think you'll find it there. You hear it coming out of there. I think. But then it to get up there. If you could put it behind this wall, that would be the best. What if you like put it behind? I bet there's a space. Oh, that would have been perfect. No. You can hear it. Yeah, you can just look right behind. You gotta put it somewhere where like he might hear it in the wall right there, but he can't get to it because he's like it's just a wall. Tonight the dinner was pretty good. It was a little shredded chicken thing. Tomorrow the wind's gonna blow a lot. Um, it's probably gonna cut the lake down in half as far as where I can and can't go. Let's look at this map right here. And I'll show you. So we're right here. We're somewhere right in here. I think we're right here actually. And today we fished down this way. We went in a couple of these. We messed around in here. And then we came up. And we went all the way into this. And I caught some, I caught one up in here. And then tomorrow the wind's gonna blow. Pretty hard, I think, this direction. So I'm blowing up this. Pretty good. I don't think I'm able to fish this too much tomorrow. So I'm going to concentrate tomorrow in these zones down here in this lower end, maybe even up here a little bit. That wind's blowing like that. So that's the plan. So we just have to find something that we feel like I can catch some big fish on. And we might have to get out there in that open water, cruise around, and look for some look for some fish. You know, and that's probably not a bad option because the way this weather's setting up, where it's going to be real cold Thursday and Friday, bright skies, 
real calm conditions, really not favorable for just going down the bank catching them anyways. That's better for fishing the trees, fishing like offshore stuff. So I need to really find something special tomorrow and just get some confidence. You know, I don't need to catch a bunch, but find an area or find a way to catch some big ones because it's going to take over 100 pounds to win this tournament. So tomorrow we're going to go all in, see what we can figure out. So time to go to bed. We'll see you all in the morning. some weather coming in but you know what it's affecting everybody i mean you know you know you say oh god this really stinks it's just part of the game it's cur it's what you call curveballs and there's different different scenarios you have to roll with in these tournaments over the years some tournaments are just beautiful weather the whole time some are not this is going to be one of those challenging events because the fishing's odd right now it's not bad well it is bad it's bad and it's odd and it doesn't make sense we talked to a few people, you know, when we're out here on the road, you know, obviously Matt and Scott and I talk, you know, throughout the day a little bit and kind of get an idea of kind of the, the pulse of the fishing. But and we really didn't get much encouraging news yesterday. I mean, it was like everybody kind of had the same kind of report, you know, it's very, very limited on, uh, on, on the good fishing report. So uh, are people going to do I mean, I'm sure people are going to whack them, dude. What do you think? Half the field's going to just destroy them? Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, it's fork. So, the thing about it is, like, it doesn't seem like this place is full of fish, but it's got great big ones. So, right. it always looks really good on paper, but this lake's very deceiving. Yeah. Like, there's people that come in here from out of town and don't catch anything. Yeah. All the time. Well, yeah, I was, I was one of them yesterday. I mean, what I fished all day yesterday, dude. How many did you catch? One. Was that the only one? Yeah, the only bite I had. And that's the only true no, bite. None that, of us had a limit. Wait, no, he had a limit. Yeah. I didn't have a limit. I had four fish yesterday. Right. <laughs> His eyes got big. His eyes got big. It scared him. The first time we've actually scared Cam, but usually he's cold as ice. He's sitting there behind that door listening to try to figure out when you were walking up the door. Like, he stood there for a while. I should have known it got quiet. Yeah, you should have. <laughs> when it gets quiet, it's, it's uh, something bad is brewing. This is all the, this is just cool Look. stuff. Yeah. Look at the action, man. I know. I'm throwing that today on the trees, dude. Hey. Yeah! <laughs> 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 it's a Chinese star, dude, by Eros. Look at, look at that thing. I'm gonna, I actually might wacky worm that on a tree. Yeah. That looks good. Carolina rig, eh? Yeah. Shake your head, what do you mean? These things, they're like heavy weighted. Yeah, turds. Yeah. They're like that ones. Yeah. And then, you got swim baits. Turd color swim baits. Oh, there's another Chinese star. I shouldn't say Chinese because they're not Chinese, it's a Korean company. It's a Korean star. You Super shiny. Like or like a Vegeta now. Put that on a light drop shot. I wonder if this floats. No, it's great. It weighs nine, nine grams. That don't mean nothing. I was wondering if it floats. The Titanic weighed 20 million tons. And <laughs> <laughs> It's got to be the material. <laughs> they got small ones too. And then there you go. But why couldn't you put this on a big, like a big swim bait for here at Fork and let that thing, put that on the nose of like a big swim bait, let that thing boom, 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 boom. I mean, they've never seen it before. They've yeah. never felt a That's swim bait. That's what they body's they ain't never seen before. Here, for sure. Everywhere we go. Alright guys. Oh, cloudy, cloudy, cloudy today. So run up the lake a little ways. Just again, it's just weird to be on this lake like this. Such a great fishery. Where it's just really doing some weird stuff. But if we can get a clue today, 
figure out a consistent way of finding some bass, getting some bites offshore, getting some bites up shallow, whatever it may be. I think the offshore bite's going to be the deal. The weather's coming in. It's going to be dead slick, calm, and cold the first two days of the tournament, which is, which is not, post front, which is not ideal. I don't think it's ideal for fishing shallow. So we need to focus on some offshore stuff. Wow. That's a big one. First pair of fish I just saw. Two small ones. Hey, buddy. I found a four and a two and a half and a three already. God dang. Yeah. Yep. One little spot. Back, very back of this, very back of this creek. Well, I'm on the little sidearm. I'm not to the back yet. Okay. I know. I've seen one bed in the back of Pinson. Super, super shallow fish on a bed, and he was real spooky. Literally on the bank. Yeah. It was like a eh, three, four pounder. Three pounder. I think I see. I think I see another one right now. Pretty sure that's a fish on the bed. Gotta be. I mean, that's definitely a bed, dude. I don't know why there's no fish on it, but that's... Oh, she. Oh, yeah. I see a big one right now. For sure. I'm not to him yet.
there, boys. Okay. There's a little old pup. But that just gives me confidence. That's all I need is just, I just need to see a path. Thanks, dude. I appreciate you. I think some of these bat, I mean, I, these are bats. This is a pattern right here. I just gotta find. All right, so here's, here's what I do know. This, what I'm doing right now is a pattern. I haven't found the right zone yet, but this is what this is what these fish are doing. They're staging up in the mouth of these pockets. Some of the bigger ones are. Now that was, of course, not a big one, but and what it is, it's like they're going to spawn in here, and there might be males on the bed, and there very well could even be some fish spawning. I just can't see them because it's just too too muddy. But those bigger females are going to stage on the first bit of cover in that 8, 10, 12 foot of water. So I've got all day tomorrow to find some places that I feel like I can catch some fish in. I've seen bass, like the spot before was exactly like this and I had a couple fish that moved on my bait. They didn't bite it. But, um, I mean, that's just an option. A few sight fish. A lot of turtles in this lake. Oh my god, these turtles are everywhere. Man, I caught, I caught three, and I could have caught a couple more, but I caught three. Yeah, same thing I did. Well, you caught a big one, though. No, I didn't catch a big one. Oh. Well, I could have caught some sight fish, but I don't know if they're even going to be there for the tournament. So, I did find like an eight or nine pounder just now. Really? Yeah. I saw it come up, came up, like I spooked it, it came up and like surfaced. Weird. And I was like, that looked like a bass. You showed it to him. It's and starting then, to, I'm starting to see something though. It, I mean, it, 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 and that's what Fritus is. I mean, that's just honestly what happens is you have to just keep trying things until you see a, a consistent pattern with something. and. matter of catching them now and I need to get really fortunate tomorrow and find some areas that are like jam up caught one on skinny dipper oh this is not open <laughs> huh I said I caught one on the skinny dipper oh you did mm -hmm. big one what color what what did you catch them all three Gonna go down. I'm probably just gonna go back over there to the satellite tomorrow. Look for beds all day, the best I can. You know, like go to like Little Caney. Look. But Little yeah. Caney be fine. Some of it will. It's gonna blow tomorrow. Hang, it's big back that bridge. That's where I'm going tomorrow. Where? It's huge. I'll guarantee there. you, there's more there. That'll be the warmest part of the whole lake. I bet you. It's big too. I thought it was yeah, little. It's the only one I hadn't been in. This one? Yeah. yeah, but you weren't looking for beds either yesterday. No, it really wasn't. I never stopped. Am I sitting in somebody's seat? Mm -hmm. I never stopped on a chatterbait either. I know. A thousand percent they got to be small in the back of Big Canyon. Because you think it's warmer than Little Canyon, right? The very back? Fifty-four degrees. We went. That's the craziest weather swings I've seen in a long time. Uh, Goes from 80 degrees to 30 degrees. I mean, Toledo Bend was the same way. These fish don't know which way to go. They're like this. They go like this. And then they go back out here. And then they go back over here. And now they're just sitting somewhere in between. They're like, I'm just going to wait for a minute. Yeah. And then we can't figure out where they are. It's a good sign. Mm -hmm. if that's a, you know what that's a sign of? Struggle bus. Yeah. That's it's better bus. when you only got like four of them. That is struggle bus. That's confusion. 
That's I don't know which way to go. You still got rods in the boat, don't you? Oh yeah. <laughs> At Okeechobee, this was my this was my this was my setup every day. That was my setup there. I had one spinning rod. That was Okeechobee. One fish at a time. Yep. That was it right there. And that was almost too many. But when he does, it makes me up. <laughs> but when he does, <laughs> he doesn't chirp a lot. But when and he does. And then I, I got up one time, turned the light on. And I stood there for freaking. I stood there for I stood there for seven or eight minutes probably. So much never chirped. I turned the lights off. I laid back down. <laughs> chirp. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I'm like, somebody's got like a chirping sound in here or something, dude. Oh, it's funny. Oh, God. And I finally figured out, I'm pretty sure he's under the wall. Under the wall? Yeah, like, like behind my bed. They'll come in from the outside. They'll, come, they'll find a hole and come in from the outside. He'll be inside the wall. That's why I think he's yeah. inside the wall. Dang. What are you going to do? What am I going to do? Yeah. I'm going to have me a cricket kill him as soon as I find that little sucker. <laughs> What do they eat? Can you put food out? Maybe they'll come out. Uh, yeah, they don't have rats in my room. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> put like some little. What are, what are Why don't we just put the food in McCoy and Dylan's room and maybe grass, he'll go over there? They eat grass. Hmm. Okay. We're closed. To the world. This fishing is. Just easy, and look, I don't, I know that this is an awesome job that I've got right here, so don't take it the wrong way. I get that this is awesome. No matter how bad the wind is, it's still better. Awesome opportunity, right? But a lot of people think you just, it's just all sunshine and great birds chirping and everything. We're out there in the storms. We're out there in the cold. We're out there in the heat times that's a problem too and uh, there's no off days in fishing unless the wind's super bad and it's dangerous because of waves other than that rain snow cold heat we go this is a good shout out for uh, AFCO right now AFCO they make gear for days like today they make, ge they make gear for days like today between the rain gear the reaper hoodies, the puff jackets. And if you can layer up, have the right equipment, then you can stay out there in the elements. Without it, it's bad. So APCO's done a great job with this. Got it, got it. I got a bite. Oh gosh. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Done. D O N E. Done.
He's following it around. Okay, I just need to go. Big, big, giant ones. We only need five good fish a day. And the only way I know to maybe consistently catch five a day, maybe, maybe, is doing what I'm doing. I don't, but the, the risky part of this whole thing is that the wind and the weather can blow it all out. Now, when I go to these fish and I realize either they're there or they're not there, then I'll just keep rolling with it. If they're not there because the weather knocked them off, then I'm gonna have to just go fishing. And I don't know. This is an odd, an odd tournament, guys. Really for me. I wish I had better, better news, but at least I'm heading in the direction. Right, wrong, or indifferent. At least I have an idea and a plan. Because the first couple days, I didn't have anything. I was like a lost puppy, which is bad. Oh my gosh, I landed on one. Ugh. Just had another bite. They're everywhere. Got it right there. Got it right there. Oh my gosh, yeah, okay. Go ahead. Finally find a couple of biggies and be like, eh, I'm gonna go rig up some tackle. I don't bank on females that I find, ever. And I sure as hell ain't starting on one. Just FYI. I am. I'm not. I, I don't know, I didn't see a male there, but it's about an eight pound something. What, on your perspective? No, it with my eyes. Oh, uh, there's not a male there? I mean, I didn't see one. It's just a big old giant black thing just sitting there like this. I didn't even, I didn't even never here. moved, never maybe left the bed. Maybe it's that's, a male. Maybe it's a male. I mean, that's what I'm, I mean, maybe it is. I mean, it well, might not be eight. It might be like a six and a half. I guess you it might could be, be a male. Early. You're probably early. What number are you? Are you seriously? Yeah. I'm number uh, 20. How are you number one? I don't that's know. Crazy. I've never been number one. You don't have to, what do you have to do when you vote number one? Anything special? Like you have to show insurance or do anything weird? I think that's, no, you did that at the beginning of the year. Because I got mad about that at the cross when I had to hunt down my insurance. Um, because my emails got hacked, remember? Yeah. So they changed that. So you, as long as you send it in to Lisa, which you had to. Yeah, yeah I did. Then you're good. You yeah. know what you I didn't want to get there in the morning. You just, need to be, you just don't need to be late like you always are. Yeah. <laughs> Little Island right here. Yeah. I found him in here one time. Yeah, Real I good. did too. Okay, you found him in there today? No, I didn't go in there today. Okay. Did you go in this one? Yep. There were quite a few? Mm, one. But two. then all this back in here was yeah, good, huh? Yeah. No, they got them. Every cut's got one, I think. Yeah. You ain't going in there. Well, I will. If I need to. It seems like there's way more fish pulling you in. You find them in there? Yeah. That's what I call them, remember? Best practice of anybody. Nice you're working, you're talking really? About Sight yeah. fishing? Three fingers, yeah. Really? Yep. There's not that many, though. I mean, I found one big well, one. Well, the water's a little more stained in there than it was before. I found one big one. I found one sneaky one, dude, under the mat. Like it was kind of a thin mat. Yeah. So the light can get through. Did you see many people in there? No. Where at? I mean, I, I went in at four o'clock. So Where I at? I think everybody was gone. Yeah, probably. In here. 
Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. I mean, I didn't see that many at all until today. I didn't even see that many today, really, but I started looking. I, I didn't see that many, but I just felt like they were brand new. Yeah. yeah. I think so. I think they were new. I saw a lot of pairs. I mean, I saw more pairs today. I saw multiple fish. That's that's what I'm saying. That's what he said. Yeah. It's just weird, dude. That's crazy. Yeah. And you know what? A lot of guys miss that. 100% because of this weather and stuff. Yeah, six fish just casting around today. In those areas, just don't want to swim off with. Did not, not fish. Oh, really? Fish. Yeah. What they might. And heat above. Oh, just Texas fish? Yeah. Just throwing it out. Just and you weren't, and you weren't. Nope. You weren't even looking at them nope. on perspective. You were nope. just pitching it around. The spawning fish. Yeah. That's old school, dude. You just pitch that old Texas rig lizard yeah. around, drag it, suck around the bank, and we'll get it. I had one eat a swim bait today. It felt like a good one. You know when it crunches that braid when it. <laughs> Yeah. I was like, oh my gosh. How'd he do that? He had some bites today. Oh, he crushed them, man. Probably 10 bites today. I couldn't believe it. How far is it over there? Woo! You like mushrooms too, don't you? Oh, yeah, I love fried mushrooms. Get you some. You like mushrooms, Eric? Dylan? I'm going to try one. I'm going to try some new food. I wouldn't normally get this. You get a little. You may like it. It's not a lot. Well, when they're all spawning, they take like 20. They were spawning everywhere. They didn't take 20 that year. Yeah. Uh, no. What did it take then? Like 17 and a half. Yeah. They were spawning all over the lake. Everywhere. Every side, pocket, everywhere. I think 32 pounds. I think. Because some of these guys are in left field, dude. They're out there. I'm off. Me too. I'm All you can do is say, I'm always low. I'm never high. What lives there? And that's what they're going to catch. So just average out the last two tournaments, that's 17 a day. Yeah, look at all these bass on the wall, man. This place. That's my buddy right there. That's my buddy. Yeah. Mark Pat Country. Dang right. That's a good dude right there. Pretty cool one, I'm thinking. Yeah. That one's really cool. An amount of big 10 pounders in this lake. Catfish, crappie, bass. Close your eyes and drop your finger where a tournament's going to be one. I can drop my finger. I can circle it. There you go. Look at there, my little cat. Oh, that's always that one there. <laughs> I actually did that. That was actually real. That, that's where it'll be. That probably will be where it'll be. You'll be within two miles of it. I bet it goes down right there this year. Why? Because you didn't go there? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to fish up some tackle guys. We saw it today. That little dude right there. Hopefully he's going to put some big fish in the boat tomorrow. That's what I flipped today and that's what I got bit on. Didn't matter if I was throwing it on a bed or just casting it around. So, um, you know, I'm not really sure what to expect tomorrow. We're just gonna go fishing. We're gonna just keep our head down. This is this is a squirrely one, guys. There's a lot of ifs in this particular tournament, you know. Uh, I'm not sure I can get all of them to bite. Number one, I don't know what this weather's gonna do. Number two, um, just hopefully I can catch five good ones tomorrow. I'll have a long day on Friday, which will get all need. And then if we can make it to Saturday, I think the fishing should get progressively better, at least for what I'm doing. So. Dude, check these out. These just came in. Oh, yeah. Bass Ninja. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. It's got the weight on it, 90 yeah, pounds. Right, yeah. Isn't that cool? That's pretty cool. That's some seal on the front. Good feeling shirts. Soft, it looks. Man, this is cool. You know, because I had the, my hoodie on the whole time. I kept saying I was in ninja mode. <laughs> it worked, man, for sure. And then we got that one, and then we went with just a real clean... SMC in the front, Team SMC in the back. Those are the two. We have a bunch more stuff on there. Oh, I got to show you this, dude. Check this out. It's an SMC hoodie. Oh yeah. It's got the stuff on the sleeve. So feel that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That's a thick one. Good and thick. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. That's a nice. I mean, like you know, a lot of times you get these hoodies and they're all thin and yeah. like old old sock. You know, this is a nice. <laughs> Yeah, so we just launched all this new merch. There's a couple other things on there too. I'll get some more stuff for the next tournament. We can all 
wear some different things. And we got hats too, lots of different hats. Oh, different yeah. SMC hats. You're always there. selling hats. Cool. Go Bass Ninja. I'm going to be Bass Ninja this week too because I'm going to have my face mask on. It's going to be 40 degrees. Yeah, the face mask on to stay warm. I'm, I'm going to be a cold <laughs> ninja. Guys, we're going to close this thing out. So the next video in this series is going to be day one and day two of the Bassmasters Lake Fork here in Texas. And that's right. Everything is bigger in Texas. Let's go, boys. Boom!